get it out of gear. Well, hello everybody. Ant-Man here, coming to you from the wilds of the Florida Everglades. I'm heading out for a couple of evenings of python hunting. Hopefully it should be a pretty good episode. There's going to be quite a few pythons captured, some of them pretty decent size, and there's going to be one beautiful little native surprise along the way. So grab your beverage of choice and kick back, and I hope you enjoy this uh, installment of Ant-Man's Adventures. Hello, buddy. First one of the night, typical little six footer. All right, come here, little sucker. All right, say, say hi to the camera. Hello. Yeah, I know, you were out for a cruise and I interrupted you. Sorry about that. Anyway, first one for the night. Let's see if we get some money. That's number two for tonight. A little guy. Yeah, I know. You're upset. Uh, yeah, just like the other one, a little guy. Little one's better than none. Hi to the camera for everybody. Cool. Boy, this is an easy one right here. <coughs> if I didn't swallow bugs. Right along on the edge. All right. That was easy enough. Cool. Well, that's the third one for tonight. They've all been small lately. Maybe a five foot bracket or so. Five to six feet like this one. Yeah. Cool. Alright, well, there's three down. Let's see if we can get some more. Oh my gosh, I was in the fourth path one tonight. Just back up. Yeah, and I grab them just like so. This one's a little bit bigger. This one's probably gonna go six and a half feet. Plus, I could definitely use a few nice snakes. Hello, show that tongue, everybody. Let's put this light a little bit dimmer so we'll see how that works. There we go. There we go. All right. Cool. All right. It's number four. So we've got a green snake sleeping up here in the bushes. I'm going to show it to my father before I release it. Sleeping right there. There we go. Beautiful little snake. Let her let dad see this thing. And then we're gonna take it back down there and let it go. These are beautiful little insect eaters. They do not bite ever. Well, not uh, till tonight. They never bite. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, yeah you can hold them, they won't bite. They're twitchy, but they don't bite. They're like the scarlet snakes. They never bite. See, even someone who's not terribly fond of snakes will can handle a green snake. They're cute little things. Feed lots on spiders and grasshoppers, all kinds of little insects. Pretty much makes up their entire diet. But they're diurnal, so they move around in the day. Hence the reason it was coiled up sleeping at night. I'm going to take it and stick it back on its little bush and let it go back to sleep. Friendly. Yeah, yeah, they never bite. They're nice little snakes. All right, buddy, let's bring him back down there. Distractions when you're python hunting. Okay. Put you right back where you were at. 
There he goes. Look how graceful that snake moves through there. He'll just find a branch and go back to sleep. All right. Oh, here we go. Better snake finally. What the hell is your It's my job. Yeah. So, got a good snake here. Wrap my hand, snake's probably gonna go about 11 feet. Hey there, buddy. It's good because I haven't found anything in a couple of days, so. Hmm. I'm gonna get a little bitty of this. Yeah, it's not that big. Here, grab that tail and then wrap it from me. Here, cool. So there's. There we go. So, get an idea. There we go. Good deal. Good snake. Say hi, Dad. <laughs> so this is a snake's about 11 feet long. Cool. All right. Well, drag it up and continue on. If you come quick, you can see him. Soaking wet. Good. No? It's going to be close to nine feet. Oh, they're inside the box. It's going to be close to a nine footer here. Say hello. Hey there, buddy. Alright. Wrap my arm. Makes it easier. Look at that. Perfect. Cool. I hope you all enjoyed that. It was a good couple of nights worth of uh, footage of some nice captures. Uh, one of those pythons was actually uh, about, uh, it was just a little under 12 feet. It was a pretty good sized snake, had a big head on her. And uh, that was definitely, definitely a good one to get out of the glades. But it was a good couple of nights of hunting with my father and covered a couple of levees. I, I tend to bounce around a lot. I don't necessarily stay on one levee all night. I'll let things like uh, the amount of people or humidity levels or where storms are at, those will kind of dictate where I go. So I do move around a lot. But it was nice to see a little green snake out there sleeping at night. They're such beautiful little animals and they've suffered heavily with the use of herbicides. So they're uh, vanishing slowly out of the ecosystem. So it's nice when you still get to see one here and there. And of course, uh, tons and tons of pythons. So. It's crazy out there in the Everglades, I tell you, sometimes you see more invasives than you do natives, and it, uh, it's a pretty sad thing. Anyway, as I always say, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you uh, would, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I hope to see you all out there in the Everglades. Take care and stay safe.